Yo guys, what's up? So this is the famous Xiaomi 10 liter bag. Um, to say it's a 10 liter, it's kind of small for what I expected. But this is the bag you can get it 29 ringgit to 35. Because of quality, a lot of comments stated that it's a very soft fabric. But I would say it's still sturdy, and it feels like one of those. Um, materials you can find in gen spot bags because they have this pattern the square pattern so yeah let's take an overall look what does the bag provide which is this color is a bit grayish and a bit dark and this is my previous bag i just want to compare you guys the the color but i'm going to show you guys later on the size as well the comparison between the first bag and the latest bag that i got so let's take a look okay First things first, the design, they have this yellow stitching on the side. If you guys are into that, uh, there's a bit like easy wear and tear there. But overall, you can just can cut it off and it looks clean. And they have this logo on the side, which is all the way inside, just like that. And the zip, they claim to be waterproofing. So as you can see, the zip back, it's pretty nice. It's like overall protection for any water droplets or water entry as you can see the uh, the uh, pulling for the zips are using this kind of uh, way of doing so so as you can see it's removable which is in the long run if you plan to change it's, it's easy and uh, it uses that way only so you can pull this off whatever you feel you like it to change the the zipping method and the back portion you have this handle very tiny but in terms of strength I don't rely on this that much overall is is an okay add-on the straps this one is really really slim it's like yes a lot of comments stated this is like a kid's bag it is what it is guys you guys want to have a small bag but it's a standard considered adult applicable bag and uh, I think it's okay for this slim because we don't want it to be too bulky as we want to compare this to the previous bag this is too bulky but it does gives a lot of comfort comparing to that and remember last time I made the video um, that this is metal in this case this bag um, is using standard plastic because the price is really cheap guys and uh, this one is like this the station has a four pattern X there, and I wish that they were to give like a clipping, like Samsonite bag. I can show you an example. So this is a my Samsonite bag, as you can see, Samsonite red. This way of doing is pretty, is better. As you can see, this one, it holds up this way, so it's clean when you want to hold it. So yeah. I didn't understand that. Uh, the sides here are like this. There's no triangle to make it stronger, but it's just an easy way of doing so. So you cannot carry too much weight on this bag, obviously. And yeah, I forgot to mention the outside pockets. This side is as big as my four fingers, and uh, it's pretty decent for you to put something there, like a small bottle or a basic bottle size. Also, is possible. And. Uh, yeah i think oh yeah i forgot about this this part you have this stitching on both sides so in terms of xiaomi props to them to redesign it in a very unique way not a very blunt looking bag just like this one this is very sleek and clean but they give a little bit of flair on in terms of design let's take a look on the front pocket so the front pocket uses the same materials as well so this side is a bit uh, those kind of uh, normal bag material and this one is like a gen spot material on the front and on the side um, the inside is like gen sport those materials and this as well the bit typical bag on this particular side that side is the gen sport side same goes to the right one so I'm, I'm gonna leave it open because I'm gonna put something inside later let's take a look inside Inside there's a lot of variations if you were to pick a different color they have blue and so on but this one gray with a lighter gray inside which I really like so first things first you're greeted with this Xiaomi uh, tagging 
So there's two stitching here. You can tear that off if you don't like it. And the inside is like very open and basic. You have your sort of iPad mini or iPad slot. Or even 11 inch MacBook Pro, MacBook Air is possible to put it here. And uh, the inside is okay. You have a padding here. So that's why that is like that. And the front is just plain old that material. And the bottom part, the bottom part is just like that, those materials. So it's, it goes all the way down that way. So it's relying on the weight on this part. So as you can see, the part is also that material. I'm going to let you guys hear the sound of material. Okay, so I'm going to squish it in, squish, again, yeah, alright, so let's just put some products, iPad 2, so if this fits, any other iPad fits, this bottle is a slim type, let's put it there, alright, it's in, as you can see that slim bottle gives this much space only, so it's pretty tight and secure, meant for a tripod. Over there, does it fall off? No. Nope. Okay, put my power bank, put my phone as well in. If I were to want to have a quick charge, let's test it out. Okay, then put it in. Oh, it should be fat. Okay, it fits, so it works. Then put my charger in front just like so. And this is a standard water pack. Put on the side. Basically it's a kids bag guys. It's a kids bag. Alright, so this is the basic stuff you would want to bring. But let's see. If I were to have an example of the, the MacBook Pro 13 inch, what kind of a size of limitations is having? It's possible to bring a 13 inch MacBook Pro inside this bag. I'm amazed, and uh, in terms of weight, it's pretty dope. So, if you were to bring in an iPad Pro 12 inch, I think it's possible because I'm putting this slot in. Not this one, not the small part. This is impossible. But it's possible to put it in the, the bigger space. So, the outside. And I put a charger inside from there. So it's possible to carry your laptop. How about a basic A4 size file? So an A4 file also fits in. It's not and looks a bit tight. But it's possible to carry that as well. Okay, I have my charger, my pencil box. i put it right there. And I'm gonna snug in to an iPad. Put my tripod just like so. Put my charger. Zip it in. Alright. Oh no, so I cannot put any more water bottles on the side. So that is the fallback, but who cares? As long as I can carry my gadgets inside. Let's put the Note 10 inside. Note 10 Plus. So it, it does fit. Why not? I'm gonna squeeze this in as well. So you can put two things inside. You can put your Note 10 Plus in first, then you put your power bank. But you cannot do it this way, you have to do it this way. So guys, this is a test of the practicality of the Xiaomi 10 liter bag. You guys can get this online. The link down below, it will help me a lot. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully it's informative to you guys. And go get your Xiaomi bag guys, which is really convenient. Oh yeah, I forgot to end the video with comparison in size. So this is the earlier Xiaomi bag that I got, it's a one sling bag, but the space is just for an iPad, 
a standard iPad but not a MacBook Pro of course. There is a lot to say. It's almost just like the same size but it's, in terms of compartment it's not user or practically friendly. This is like necessity bag you want to carry it this way. But this is like overall kind of bag that you want to carry. Like, but you don't want to carry a very big bag like my, like this bag. Like this bag is so big. If you were to compare this and this one. Yeah, there's a lot of size difference there. If you put this way. By a bit margin, you can get this bag and then you can put a lot of things more compared to this one. This one cannot carry a water bottle, so kind of sucks. But this one can if you were not to bring a laptop. But I think overall in the future, if you were to have a smaller laptop and you know can accommodate a water bottle at the end. So yeah, there's no lines at the back so it's very flat. But for the price, it's really practical. More shots on the size difference. Alright. So this bag uses like a sponge for sweat purposes but this one is like full flush. Alright, I think that's about it. Okay guys, thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video. Hurrah!